Now on the maritime sector, the federal government says that the port and cargo handling services are slow on automation processes and cargo delivery. Expressing the concern through the Nigerian Shippers Council as the port economic regulator, the, observ the observation is that it takes about four months to exit cargoes from the terminal via barges. Now meeting with the management of the terminal, the council executive team emphasize the need for improved efficiency in cargo transfer to bonded terminals, noting that block stacking of containers and the recurring delays that incur extra cost for importers will no longer be unacceptable. Now, the terminal operators, however, blame the slow process of cargo evacuation at the terminal to the deplorable state of the port access roads. We are looking at transactions that could be done online. And I'm happy that everybody has taken uh, the cue to that. We have seen a shipping company that was 19% uh, three months ago, but because of our insistence, it's now almost 100%. We are pushing the port operators. We are pushing even the government agencies. We are pushing customs, okay, because it takes two to tango. The banks must be also part of this. So the whole ecosystem of the port must be automated. The shipper cannot be made to bear the charges when his cargo is transferred from the port he has earlier nominated. You know, he has to be notified, uh, and we have issued general notice, you know, to that effect. If you sort the road out, everything else will sort itself out, fall in place. These terminals were efficient before the roads deteriorated. We've invested in heavily in new equipment, new cranes, rich stackers, terminal tractors, to handle more volume. And in fact, we're handling less volume. We're not handling more. And it's solely because of the condition of the road. Solve that, you'll solve all the problems in the port.